Well, well, well. Look uh, who we have here. Bradford Manor. We got Matt and Zilla. And what, what are you guys toasting there? It's, what, it's a Mexican boxing legend. You got to take a shot before training camp starts. So on Monday, Lenny's eight-week training camp starts for the mystery person fight. The two coaches are taking a shot Cheers to celebrate. Cheers to Big Lenny and him whipping Mr. G's ass. Ooh, both of you winced. I see some weak It's hot. It's hot. Wow, Matt, you all right? Yeah. I don't really drink very often, but there's actually a... Um, next week, I think we're doing it. If you guys want to come by for a little bit, we're going to do a scotch and squats challenge. Last year, we did a tequila and deadlift challenge where we... Remember Rich Piana did that video a long time yep. ago? We did both of those videos. The beer bench press is on my YouTube channel. And then we did tequila and deadlifts. Next we're gonna do scotch and squats. And um, yeah, it was terrible. This tequila and deadlifts was so much fun though. It was a blast. You see like what Matt's getting miles. me into? I'd participate, but I don't have health insurance. Yeah, yeah. but tequila's a stimulant, so that's kind of okay. Yeah. Scotch and squats. Is there another alcohol that starts with an S? That sounds like it's right up Brad's alley, scotch and squats. <laughs> we're actually gonna, we should name the doc here the scotch and Whoa, look at that arm. Can we see that arm again? Good lord. Did you record when he's taking that shot? He didn't take one. No. He didn't take one. I get a little too rowdy when I drink scotch. I want to get rowdy. Yeah. Hey, Rob, fill that shot glass up with that fire water. What's up? Then we will get too rowdy. <laughs> if, everyone, if everyone takes doses up on it, yeah, why not? It reminds me of a Memorial Day picnic at Lou's when a certain someone took one hit, one hit off a joint, dropped his plate, and hit the deck. Dropped his plate, hit the deck, and Jason's are. Jason went. Like shit. <laughs> Look at it. Weird. Look how clear that is. It's like well, a whole new world. Maniacs, you know who to thank for the clear pixels. Remember at Lou's Memorial Day dirty. picnic when so, so and so took a hit off a joint, was walking back with his plate, fell right on the floor. Jason said, Bah! He's laughing. Lou <laughs> was like, What the hell happened to him? Jason. Off of one hit, he's laying unconscious <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> It was like, I'm the only one. I was actually scared. I'm like, what's wrong, you know? Jano we is laughing his ass off. So say Andrew's over this way. Me and Lenny are right here. And say I'm Jason. Jason's watching. He looks. Yeah, yeah. And Lenny looks at me. He's eating. Lenny goes, why is he doing that? He went like this. He goes, and all of a sudden. <laughs> we told that story on the podcast. Luckily, Livia was there. She went all over and got him ice. Oh, uh, maybe that's what that's what he wanted. He just wanted some attention from Livia. <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to get mouth to mouth. <laughs> but he asked if he could take her home, and Nate said no. <laughs> We should call him Tony Take Home. Yo, I was at a. You saw that video I sent you from the restaurant? You saw the video I sent you from uh, Zang, Mr. Zang's restaurant? I just remember, you know, we we're talking about pharmacology here with Matt. We got another expert. Yeah, we gotta get Dave Palumbo on the drug talk. <laughs> I okay, you know, has his guru talk, get, get him on drug talk with Lenny. I know you were shooting new vein in your veins. Dave, Dave Palumbo looks like he's got too many teeth. <laughs> like Andre the Giant. <laughs> yeah, like Devil's Sons. No, Andre the Giant had little teeth. Dave looks like he's got too many teeth. Well, they're really white. That's you know why. What I'm Have you ever been on this podcast before? We want, I went with Lenny. Yeah, we should, do, we should get him to do another one. We'll get like two or three more training videos and do an update. Get uh, Brad on there. I don't know why Dave doesn't want us to come to the studio. That was great. He's paranoid about the virus. It's not him. It's, a, you, you, it's not him. You know, it's... What's the virus? Who? Chris Zito? His other half. Oh, his wife? Ah, oh, that's what I'm assuming. I don't know her, but... He's somebody that's so informed about 
health and nutrition, and he's so like for this new. Are you gonna get the vaccine, Lenny? Yes, I got my card on the way. Did you really? Cards on the way. Cards oh. on the way minus the vaccine. Yeah, <laughs> cards on the way. I did get a vaccine. Yeah, but it wasn't a COVID vaccine. <laughs> Lenny gets a vaccine every week. We get a trend yeah. vaccine. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Every week, Lenny gets his a uh, couple vaccines. Yeah. Not that much. Yeah, he's a fucking vegan soy boy. He doesn't like killing animals, I guess. Man, I'll tell you, you know how good that tastes right there? Fresh trout? Trout is good shit, man. Oh, yeah. How'd you prepare it? A lot Fresh of fucking trout. protein. Huh? How'd you prepare it? So you, you take, cut the head off, and then leave the, you gut it out, and take, put lemon lemon inside it, butter, put it on the, on the pan, let it heat up. About two, two and a half minutes on one side, put the other side, Those fill the skin back. And that, that's a, that's yeah. a wild shot. Yeah. Right? yeah. Yeah, this is, this is a rainbow. Yeah, this, these were a stock. Yeah, stock it was a, it was like a, a whole, well, I don't know what they do. I guess every couple weeks or whatever, they throw a bunch of trout into the, yeah, so you wait for them to jump up from the bed or yeah. the, the bank and you catch them like out of the shotgun. I didn't shoot one when we did that, but my uncle did. And that, that was badass. Yeah, that's, that. yeah. We used to call that running and gunning. Okay. We're running gun. We're all version of running gun is a little bit different. Yeah, I don't like I don't like the poles that come with your running no, gun. No poles, but stems. Yeah, no, 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 no. Stay away from your running gun and drill. I don't like I don't like boys with titties. Uh, not anymore. I don't. Not anymore. Pretty much. Although on the right substance, maybe something like that. Who knows? Uh, so Dale is going to be Crunch Fitness on Monday. You going to come and put a clinic on over there with us? Let's do it. How long are you here for? I'll be here until Tuesday. So yeah, I'll come, I'm going to be there Monday. So what time's good for like three? Y'all tell me. Whenever you get ready. Earlier than three would be good for me, but I'm a tourist at this point. Yeah, but there's less girls at that time. I I haven't yeah, seen that. I haven't seen that many uh, free agents for Lenny. I haven't seen. I don't know why. Every time I go, it's a bunch of dudes. I got a girlfriend, so I don't really care. But yeah, you know, I can't. You know, look, you gotta be a good, straight up dude. You, you can look, you just can't touch. I don't know about that. I, I used I talk, to think that, but I talk, I don't talk. you know what's funny? On one of the videos you guys posted, I watched a little bit of it, and the comments were going crazy about this girl in the background, and it was a girl I know. It was fucking hilarious. Uh, I know. I is she, is she like light skinned black? No, she's not light skinned black. She's Hispanic, but she could go for light skinned. I know. I think I know which one you're yeah. talking about. Yeah, sure, sure. so curly, good. curly hair, yeah. black hair. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She's she's yeah. I saw her there yesterday too. So what is her? Well, she's probably what 19 years old. Nah, she's my like 21. Oh, okay. What's the got the goods on her? <laughs> <laughs> we got, we got, we got, we got, he's gonna block Whoa. out the name. Who's but, uh, that's Lenny's new uh, crush. That's what you're talking about, right? He, uh, yep, yep. That's Whoa. Her. Whoa! Did you hear it? You She's into boxing too, Lenny. We boxed before. Yeah, I'm gonna show you a video. Oh, wow. Right? She's in front of him. Good friend, nice girl. Tell her to punch me on the film. <laughs> <laughs> See how much I can take, you know? Yeah. Punch you downstairs. Uh. One one punch knockout. Oh. Well, yeah, we started punching that day, didn't we? No, no. Well, maybe, maybe, but not the day I remember. Yeah, man. Uh, if you uh, um, yeah, hunting season, let me know. Ian. Ian. Yeah. Ian. 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 Ian one. Oh. Who else was there? Well, Max. <laughs> Uh, uh, right. Charles Ian Bell, yeah, yeah. Uh, Not Antoine Bell, Ian Bell, yeah, yeah. The relapser? No, no. The prolapser. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it is what it is. You want who do you want to win? Oh, I had Max Charles winning. No, Harry Studios. That's what I thought. Max Charles in the show, right? No, 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 Charles Griffin. Charles Griffin. Charles Griffin. I want to see you slugging that down. We got Dale here, we, but we gotta, we gotta enjoy it, you know. Yeah. Eat your heart out, Dale. You're missing out. The tequila. Oh, yeah, go right ahead, I'm not. I'm not. 
Yeah. I'm on the coffee tail lifestyle. That's right. You want to get big? Brad, what's Whoa, look at that arm. Brad, what kind of bass is that? I'm looking at Casey Viator. Huh? You know him? Yeah. From Louisiana. Look him up. What is it? Casey Viator. Yeah. You know Casey Viator? From the 70s? Uh-uh. The raging cage. Oh, yeah. I, you know what I forgot to do? I have all those old muscle mags I was going to bring up. God, you should have bought them. I forgot to put them in my car. I just thought of it. What is that? I have a bunch of old muscle mags. I sent them a bunch one time before when I sent them to Can Deer Hunt. And, uh, and Cornelius' wife's panties. <laughs> Brad, you remember that? What? When I sent Lanny Cornelius' wife's panties. Thank you. And he, was, <laughs> he was licking them. Yeah. What'd you do? I sent him Cornelius' wife's panties. Used panties, and he you was licking them. Did you ask nicely for them? <laughs> yeah, you I said it. Cornelius yeah. does not care. He's, He's not really yeah. Shit. He's cool. So. Oh about money? Where's money shot? No, thank you, Brad. I get a little too rowdy. <laughs> Don't want to get rowdy, Brad. Can't get rowdy. <coughs> Actually, you probably we should not be encouraging that with your heart failure. Yeah, it don't. Help, it might help circulation though down here. Thank you. What about my bodybuilding <laughs> failure? I'm more worried about that. It'll thin your blood a little bit. You can always. You, oh, got, you got my trainers over here Brandy. living it up. What do you got this time? <laughs> I don't know. Is there a worm in here? Let's see a nice little toast. Cheers. Toast to Mr. G, right? Cheers to being a jackass and trying to make a successful venture out of it. There you go. Cheers. Oh, Yay. Yay. <laughs> Disclaimer, this is just water. I'll be the only guy in here that Listen knows that. Six pack. Sad. Six pack. <laughs> So uh, I'm yet to see Lenny's six pack. Yeah, I'm like, who has a six pack here? Yeah, not me. Oh, I mean, not us. Let's see, Matt. I don't have a let's six pack. Let's see what you got. I, I can't show you. So Come on, Matt. Let's no, see your bare chest. Show that. Show that. <laughs> Dale looks like he's about to compete. Wait, soon. wait, wait, wait. Yes, he know. does. He looks pro to me. Wait, here you go, Valerie. Full muscle bellies. Yeah, like... So, this is when I had shoulder surgery. I, I tell him, I want you to know, hope you enjoyed that package I sent you of Cornelius' wife's panties, right? Oh, no, 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 no. I was wearing them to him. Oh, he, was, he was sniffing them and licking them, telling oh. how great it was. And then I said that afterwards. Oh, it was the best ever. Yeah, I really ruined it. Oh, it was so great. That was the best ever. Oh, it hurt. Oh, no. No, it was terrible. My nuts were like hanging out of them. It was terrible. Oh. I made sure I was nice and sweaty, too. Oh. And of course, it was the delight of you know who was laughing at me. This is what it is. Keep it, keep it, stick to Bud Light. No, stop. Just, uh, the last time I drank tequila, I literally fucking got off work. He's 37 dicks. I don't even like that water. I, 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 I drank, I drank a, a tequila shot every beer that I had, so I probably had about 10 tequila shots and 10 beers in about two hours. These two, these two black dudes came in, were hitting on my sister. I so guess fucking I blacked out and it clicked. You blacked out. Oh, oh, yeah. Demonetized. I'm serious. That's, I'm not racist, but. Okay, that's how yes, we're going to start. No, definitely not. Definitely not. Definitely not. <laughs> the whole world knows now. Whatever. Whatever. You <laughs> have to do a rich piano type of apology. I'm not. I'm really not. I, I grew up in Broward. I grew up I in fucking. I have one black friend. Yeah, a lot of black friends. I got black people in my family and everything else. I thought I was black. Well, to prove like, you're not, I'll give you an address in Broward. You can knock on a door and get it. I'm not racist, but. I'm Broward Bull. I'm not. I'm just saying, I had that one moment. And ever since racist. then, I don't drink tequila because I don't. I don't. You don't want the racist. Hey, yeah. if you're a white kid and you grew up in Broward, you're a racist or you're dead. <laughs> I'm not. We need your Broward videos. Hey, don't put that pressure on me, please. <laughs>
Yeah, no, that's, I don't drink tequila. I don't eat them. I got them burned into my fucking brain. I oh, you're gonna see nothing yet. Fireball and all that shit, but tequila. I can't. You ever tried GHB? <laughs> no. I have done crystal meth on accident. <laughs> yeah. I heard that earlier. I heard that earlier. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't an accident. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't an accident. <laughs> I said, well, something. So how, did, how was your experience on it? Crystal meth is very My experience with that was I was buying <laughs> Molly. <laughs> That's what we were buying, yeah. right? No, it ended up being more expensive. We were all weirded out. Why is it more expensive? Oh no, it's Molly. It's Molly. So me and like five of my buddies sitting around cheetahs, you know, having a good time. Yeah. And then next thing you know, I'm up staring at the ceiling of my bedroom for 36 hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, never yeah. again. Was it, was it fun though? Never did Molly again. Oh, okay. You want to hear about ketamine? So, turn that on for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I think it's a legendary loser. I, you sell the fucking <laughs> shit out of You know what else? Also, a lonesome loser shirt. Uh, Wouldn't that be funny with, Mi with Michigan loser. colors? Lonesome no. loser? That'd be funny. I think that'd be a, a, if you could design it really well, Legendary Loser would be a fire t shirt. Even in that, in that the font that you have right there for Weird Have my face on it, but then again, have one for my counterpart. The Lonesome Loser. We'll give him the proceeds. <laughs> that would be funny, Lonesome Loser. I live in Wellington. Uh, across the street from the hospital. Brad, you would, I don't know if you saw that video, but the posters he does. What's your name? He's got like Led Zeppelin and all kind of stuff in there. Original movie posters. Flags. You didn't like that one? It's a good gym, it's just not a good environment. I walked in there with her one day, I walked out because there was no, you can't get out any as fuck, yeah. And it wasn't even like a prime time, it was like 11 in the morning. Hey Lenny, have you walked over here again? The prime time, it was fucking packed. Uh -huh. I walked the fuck out. Hey, Lenny, did, did you watch my podcast on pornography? Did you watch that? D didn't you swipe up on that? Look at how exciting we just got. <laughs> it's anti-pornography. Yeah, you see that. Yeah, you gotta watch it. Put it on for Lenny. One of what, if I were to Google it on my phone, what do I put in? Uh, you can put on Buff Talk Pornography. Buff Talk. Buff Talk. Hey, 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 you. Over here. Thanks. It's, it's uh, interesting. I spoke, Dude, didn't you tell me about that? Or someone, someone told me. Oh, here, someone commented. They said, you should show Lenny this video. So. How long was it? It's about an hour and ten minutes. It's on iTunes? It's on YouTube and Spotify. Oh, okay. It's interesting. Do you have to pay to be on Spotify? No, it's free. No shit. Anchor, yeah. Anchor puts it on Spotify. Anchor. I can help you guys set it up. It's really yeah, easy. Yeah, Anchor. We, we put the podcast in the beginning on SoundCloud. And then when you had your Martin Luther King run, it booted us. <laughs> oh. so that was we had to pay like, I think there's only like 12 bucks a month. Uh, Anchor is Anchor Stream. No, I know, but I'm just saying. That's, that's Anchor distributes Anchor distributed it to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and a bunch of other weird ones. Anchor? Anchor. Yeah. Anchor, I need to remember Yeah, that. when you guys start it, I'll, I'll help you guys set up. Right. Even with the pod, the, uh, the what's it called? The uh, Roadcaster Pro takes about 30 minutes, but you can get all the presets in there and then it's bang. No, I'll touch it ever again. But yeah, no, that's my home. Yeah, I saw the video. Yeah. Set up the Roadmaster scene. Lenny was looking at all the flags. Yeah. It's like a prettier Vegas, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So it's literally like no I, I, I have to check out your Yeah, he is. Why are you so loud? He's come a long way, too. Oh, yeah. How bad from uh, flipping the car into a house, right? Yeah, he should have been dead. Yeah. What do you bench? Huh? What do you bench? Uh, uh, you like three uh, times. Not a lot. Not a lot. Not a lot. Most, most of the bench is 525. I was a bottle service. Not a lot. No, no. no. I'll, I'm going to go over 365. That was my back in the day. How many times are you up that? I can get it 12, 15 times. And that's what Miami is what do you think about that, Masterson? It's not bad. <laughs> but was that most of the oh, like two? No, the worst thing is it's me doing it like that, and then you got a 174 pound bodybuilder that comes in and does the same thing. Right. Well, you're like, dude, really? Well, so that's not even the, the small guys when I played football back in the day, those guys 
you know, short arms, smaller running backs, they would, they would, backs, they would rip, rip shit out all the time. I'm like, God damn. I might be able to bench 135 pounds. I so I had, a, <laughs> I had a goal. No. Yeah, you could. No, I can't. I had a goal. Every time I, I ever get on that thing, I get I'll two reps out of it, and then I'm done. So that means you can bench it. Yeah. Bench it. If you yeah. Two reps. You well, can bench barely. it. Barely. I don't even know what On a good day, I can get two. I had a goal with Cornelius back in the day before my wreck. He had 160 pound dumbbells. I said, oh, wait, I'm going to bench those for 20 I reps. He's like, I don't know. I was like, I'm telling you, I'll do it. So we did a whole chest workout, and then I get him, put him up, and I got him for 10. 10 reps. That's on film. Yeah, I couldn't get 20, but I got 10. Can we see that film at some point? Yeah, I'll take it. I'm not sure how to say it. You should put it on your Instagram. It was all my old one. For Fred. Yes, I don't like all the weeds. It's getting better. It is. First thing I noticed though, when, when you got out of here, actually, your stomach's actually smaller than it was. You know, I pulled that. It was flapping around when I punched in a bag. Yeah, like, oh. At that point, yeah, I had enough. Yeah. The, the, my blood sugar is high, so it's, I put myself at risk. I go in a diabetic coma, but I did cut my carbs. I still need to tell it. You know, cinnamon tablets are for your sugar. Yeah. Or make sure get just get cinnamon spice and put it in like your yeah, shakes or something. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, dude, he was fucking on it on the Halloween party. Friends on Molly. Yeah, you're a fucking vegan heart. Trying to take it out. Sweet. Yeah, you're fucking on it, dude. You're fucking on it, dude. You're doing fucking yeah, you're on the Yeah. Yeah. Party and hard. That was fun. That was a good night. Yeah, it was. After he had COVID. Timmy had COVID that night. I shook your hand. I'm not sure. I'd have to see the exchange We need more white guys to Come on. Yeah. He's been black guy to death. I mean, think about it. That is so good. Not necessarily. Look at Steve Bob. Anybody more impressed than him? I think that's a myth. Uh, nah, you're right. See Bob, see Bob is very impressive. And in person, he's really good in person. Yeah, I think that's a myth. But he has a list. So he actually has a list when he talks. He's like, yeah, he's nice. Nice. Of course he is. Where do you think he gets fun to that? You know what? I want to train all day. You want to do that? I wouldn't. The girl's so close to my wife now. They're probably smoking crack down. Free base and cocaine, man. I don't like it. A win over her. Yeah, we're going to get Brad on the train. No, no, no. no free base and cocaine here, man. The free race and Brad. No, Brad's retired. He'll be, he'll be the king. Instead of Dale as the silver back crew, we'll be the silver crack crew. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll make that happen. The silver crack crew. Silver crack crew. Did you see Lee Priest's interview getting sponsored by the Mexican Underground Labs? Where's our sponsor? Where's your sponsorship? Tell we, need to, we need to have a talk with Lee on that one. Yeah. He loves Lenny, by the way. Also, Lee Priest loves Lenny. He's a, he's a legitimate funny guy. Like, well, Lee Priest is great. Yeah, to, to be funny like that on the spot. The impersonations are great. When he done the Foo Wad impersonation, oh my God. Over and over. I didn't see that. When he was on the Leo. What do you Leo think about that Foo Wad character? I mean, he's, from what I hear, you know, how he sponsors his people is pretty good. You don't make them where they have to post stuff and all that. What's his brand? Uh, Pasta. Like Pos. What is it? Because they call him Pos. Yeah, Pasta. Who's that? Fuad Aviad. From Canada. Is it in stores or whatnot? Maybe. That's Leo's best friend. No. 
Mike Webster on How much you weigh now? Maybe 114 pounds. Yeah, well, <laughs> and one cap. Yeah, but 247. 247? That's, that's 286. Now how much you weigh? 310. 700 ribs. 310. 700 ribs. That used to be 452. Yeah. How much you weigh? When I, I played yeah, I'll, I'll play quarterback. I played 15, 20, and I was like, solid. I was like, the ball do a lot? Yeah, I was like a T-bone type. Like, wow, that's fun. Yeah. I bet you missed that. I do. But my body, I'm telling you right now, my body is not, it hurts now. Honestly, I, I got a bad shoulder, I got a bad knee, bad ankle. It's, BPC 157, that's what you need. What? BPC 157. What is that? And 500. How's that? Yeah, it'll, uh, it'll heal up all your injuries like within weeks. Like a blown out shoulder? You say? Yeah. So when I, when I had surgery on my bicep, my rotator Sorry, bicep, this bicep and this AC joint, uh, that's why I recover so fast. So I'm taking that every every day. Is it a pill or no, you could, BPC? BPC you could get. Uh, you could take BPC orally, but it's better off to. Yeah. Do My left shoulder still pops yeah. out of place all the time because it's so it's so loose. It's just, I wake up some nights, my arm is out. Well, this right here. You see the knot right there? It's not sticking up. Right there? That's my collarbone. So I have a dead person's hamstring here wrapping this to hold my shoulder up. Yeah. Um, I freaked out when they told me about it, dude. I was like, you got a what? They're like a dead person. I'm like, oh my, I was so mad. Have you gotten back like your full strength ever, ever, or not? Not, not full, but I, I'm still like, I'm yeah. very strong. Yeah, yeah. Very yeah. yeah. In 11th grade, I call up the hokey. I draw, I draw it back to pass. I went to throw a ball. And when I threw the ball, I got fucking lifted up and drove down to the ground. I'm running off the field like this, and my coach is like, dude, 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 dude. I'm like, what? My fucking shoulder is like down like this at a spot. And the fucking lady popped it back into place. Two plays later, I threw the touchdown. Yeah. But the pain was gone immediately? Yeah, no, to be honest, going back in hurt more than it came out because I didn't know it was out. And then going back in, it hurt. And then, yeah, ever ever since then, now I feel like it's tingling in my back. Yeah. 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 yeah, I got lifted up and drove down on my shoulder and it fucking blew it out bad.